Alright, music crews for Fox once again. And this is a request the same for Abby. And the name of this video is Top 10 Darkest Animated Shows. Okay, let's check it out. Yay. Kids, look. Happy Tree Friends and South Park and um, the Boondocks, to name a few, but we'll see what they have. Go away. These are not your Saturday morning cartoons. Hey guys, it's Stevie from Watch Mojo. And today we're counting down the Top 10 Darkest Animated Shows. Let's go. No, don't She's a pretty one. Yeah. I remember this. Think you know Nickelodeon? Click here to sign in with your Google or Facebook account and take the new trivia quiz on WatchMojo.com. Okay, bye. Okay. We're looking at animated TV shows that deal with dark or disturbing subject matter, as well as those that have a dark aesthetic. Let's take a look. Let's go. This was a classic. Curse of Curly Dolls. Number 10, South Park. South Park, obviously, is not for kids. I love the show, but it's not for kids. This long-running series may focus primarily on four young elementary school-aged boys, but it's anything then, uh, but kid-friendly. Along with its signature style of merciless satire and parody, South Park pulls no punches with its subject okay, matter either. Get. The show regularly features death and gore, most notably Kenny's frequent deaths, as well as other they dark themes, Kenny. including child abuse and rape. Cartman in particular is prone to committing acts that have the potential to scar adult viewers, let alone a child unfortunate enough to stumble upon the sitcom. <laughs> yes, it is the most genius plan ever. Scott Tenement is going to wish he never met me. Well, it's all a twist. Number nine, Happy Tree Friends. Yep, yeah, Happy Tree Friends. Don't let the title and animation fool you. This one isn't for kids either. No, Happy it's not. Tree Friends follows a group of even though kids like me watched it, whose adventures and almost traumatized us. Decidedly disgusting. The critters' escapades almost always devolve into gory, violent messes that, if they don't end up killing them, it's pretty bad. instantly cause them gross bodily trauma. While most of the shows on our list feature dark or violent subject matter as a part of their presentation, with Happy Tree Friends, it's essentially the central conceit of the premise. It's a Demon Spawn show. That's what it's called. Number 8. Courage the Cowardly Dog. I love this show. Hell yeah. I love that show. Wish it was on again. But it's no the less dark for it. Following the eponymous scary dog. This episode was freaky with the actors and saying. Natural creatures and happenings. The series takes a lot of inspiration from horror films, both in its aesthetic and its content. Despite the series being a children's cartoon, the threat of death is frequently present, often from something unusual or grisly. While courage may. I didn't know that one episode was based off the Exorcist until I saw the Exorcist. <laughs> Be a coward. We're not sure we could be as brave as he is in the face of such horrors. Large Marge's stepped on right there. Number seven, Samurai Jack. Samurai Jack isn't really that. Let I didn't really get into that show that mess. much. When Gendy Tartakovsky's surprisingly dark show aired on Cartoon Network, following the adventures of a samurai who was I watched some of it, but uh, I mean, it's into like the Aku, scarier the shows. Jack trying to find a way home. Or the most and more animated cool. colorful shows. Although the show edges around showing blood for the most part by using robots, there's still quite a bit of violence and occasional moments of horror. The final season delves even further into dark territory by featuring more overt death and violence and showing Jack himself in a notably darker light. This samurai has failed his I still watch it though. I heard it was your, I heard it's it's a good show. I just never really got into it. Eon Flux. As a kid. Never heard of this show. Set in a futuristic dystopia, Eon Flux follows the eponymous oh my God. goes on covert and not and this is on kids missions. channel. The shadowy cyberpunk setting makes for a bleak tone, while the missions Eon Flux undertakes are often violent. This is because of either their purpose, like assassination, or else because they go wrong, or turn out to be something else entirely, with the death tolls of some episodes climbing into the hundreds or thousands. Eon Flux herself isn't excluded from this either, as she's shown to die both in the animated shorts and the series itself. Yeah, it's... Oh, we got a boner from seeing her titties, but... Number five, Gargoyles. What could be strong enough to leave a claw mark 
Even though it's a cartoon. Gargoyles I used to love as a kid too. This show is great. To stone during the day and protect New York City by night, while also uncovering what became of their people. Given that most of it takes place at night, the overall look of the show is dark by default, but the atmosphere is also notably gothic. Not only are there fight scenes aplenty, but also the gargoyle's past is analogous to genocide, while several of the series This episode was dark when we shot the girl. Disney went dark, all right, but it made for a complex and well-written show. Still laughing, Hunter. Come. See what so much ads on this video. Number four, Rick and Morty. Yeah, I like Rick and Morty. One of my favorite adult story shows. An adult animated sci-fi series, Rick and Morty follows a drunk genius scientist and his awkward grandson as they go on adventures. This show was creepy though, but it's not. Rick and Morty's adventures get really dark as the pair of yeah. them, though usually Rick, are responsible for countless deaths along the way and to deal with a lot of mind-blowing weirdness that proves emotionally scarring, at least to Morty. Speaking of emotional damage, the crap Rick and the rest of his family put each other through is almost as bad as the stuff they encounter on their adventures. That being said, you'd be hard-pressed to find more the brilliantly written animated The screen's so bright on this TV on, on my camera, but I can't do anything about it. Number three. Batman the Animated Series. Yes. The good, the mo the only good Batman series. Hands down. The definitive animated version of Batman, the animated series may have a little bit of campy humor, but its major distinguishing feature is how dark it is. Created on the heels of Tim Burton's Batman films, the animated series features a noir and gothic art style that relies heavily on shading. To match the visuals, the show tackles plenty of grim subject matter and featured a lot more violence. Or yeah. at least the threat of it that you typically see in superhero cartoons. Some of the Dark Knight's villains were particularly chilling. And no, we're not just talking about Mr. Freeze. The revenge is a dish. It's a great show, though. Great show. Number two, The Max. I heard you almost what? bit off Baker's finger this time. I, I never heard of this. Based on the image comic series of the same name, The Max follows the eponymous character, who's a homeless man in the real world. But also spends time as his highly I never heard of this cartoon. Ego, what the fuck? A strange alternate one called the Outback, along with the trippy visuals. If we're not for kids. Features plenty of violence and dark subject matter, particularly since the main villain, Mr. Gone, is a serial rapist. Okay, yeah, it's not for kids now. Bizarre, Never mind. The Max is almost the darkest animated show on our list. Almost. Blacking out. Lost too much blood. Before we unveil our top pick, here the are fuck? some honorable mentions. The hell is this? Take me to your leader. The fuck? JT, the work crew shuttle, it's... It's... Some means I never heard of. This is JT Marshall. Oh wow, that's a great offer. Dragon Falls. I, I love that cartoon. Creepy, but it was awesome. Never heard. Man, I never heard of any of these shows. No, oh, my lock of my lock of blood, one, of, one of my favorites for sure. Number one, Todd McFarlane Spawn. What? I never heard of this either. Based on Todd McFarlane's comic series of the same name, naturally. Spawn follows the titular demonic hero, a former serviceman who is resurrected in hell, to fight evil both hellish and earthly. The art style is thoroughly gritty and sometimes grisly, particularly wow. given the hero's cadaverous appearance without his mask. The episodes, meanwhile, are full of betrayal, corruption, murder, and death, with little sugar coating. Jesus, Spawn's that sounds dark as shit. Deep. But hey, from the creator of Venom, would you expect any less? This series doesn't hold back. And it's rightfully earned the distinction of being one of the greatest comic book cartoons of all time. I need to check it out. Most of these I've never heard of. I'm going this one. I don't know about you guys, but Happy Tree Friends scarred me for life. Me too. Which dark animated shows do you love? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe. I mean, sometimes she refers to really her traumatized me, but I did find it a bit unnerving. Yeah, thanks for watching guys. Take care. One more video is coming and then there's another haunting hour reaction. So stay tuned for that. Check it out. Thanks for watching guys. Peace out.